What is up everyone? Welcome back to another day for another video. Today we are actually here at Universal to check out what is new happening. Mardi Gras literally kicked off last weekend on February 1st. So, there's a lot of things to see, a lot of new things. On top of that, mate, I even heard that they have a, a tribute store, which they never had that. Um, but if you are new to the channel and you love theme parks, roller coaster, overall having a great experience, please consider subscribing to this channel. But without any further ado, let's go inside and check out what's new. If you guys haven't noticed, Mardi Gras is celebrating 25th year in Universal, so that's a little big something. So they might have new things and everything. So let's go inside, check it out. See what's new and maybe go on a ride or two for today. And also after that we're gonna go to Honest Adventure, see what else is new on that and check out some construction update. Let it begin. So as of right now the park doesn't look too packed. It's pretty like moderate, kind of spread out everything. But because this is universal, not islands, because of islands they have a new attraction over there, that might be a longer wait time. But right here is pretty moderate. This big old me is only a 15 minute wait, which honestly. It's a walk-on, honestly. That's nothing, anything, but minions. I'm probably gonna pass on it for today, but we are gonna talk about some new things. So first things first, as you can see, the stage is pretty much being set up and other things are happening with it. Um, today there's no concert, but every Friday and Saturday there are concerts from artists coming here to do a quote-unquote free show. This shoe is included with park admission. So this year's lineup is pretty rock solid. Recently, we just had The Roots last Friday, that Saturday, I mean. This Saturday, the, when I upload this upload this video, um, Carol G is coming. Um, 15, Belle, Deva, Belle B. DeVoe. Um, some other famous people are Fer Friday, March 13th. Luis Fonsi, I know for a fact, a lot of Hispanics are gonna be here to check out that show. It's gonna be pretty jam packed. I might even come here. Uh, the following day, Saturday, March 14th, All American Reject, that's also going to be here, so that's like a throwback. Um, Earth, Wind, Finer, they always come here every single year, but also, two, well, one is for mainly my girlfriend because she do like them, which is Why Don't We, March 28th, but the one show that I'm definitely looking forward to is definitely Marshmallow, March 22nd. So that show is going to be literally the most amazing show, pretty much. So. If you are wondering when the shoes, the shows are going to be located, they're going to be located right here at the stage behind me. And people typically get here a bit early from shows to start until eight, so people get here to the camping at six or five in the afternoon to secure a good spot. Um, but hopefully, we might grab a good a spot for those shows. But who knows? But down right here, there are some more intriguing stuff which we will definitely gonna check out right now. So. Let's go. Yeah. Right here in the New York courtyard, they already have a lot of props here. Um, they have a, a ton of stuff. They have a, like a booth inside of, well originally this was an extension queue for Transformer, but they're using it as of right now for some equ exquisite um, beverages for the adults. So if you want to have something exquisite, come here. And it's kind of like a nice thing, but on the other side, as usual, each year we always have booths. So they have the Jambalaya and Guambo. Hopefully, I'm saying that right, huh? On this one, it says Carnival Around the Universe. So there's something probably exquisite. I don't know. It says right here All new tent is tribute to Carnival Celebration worldwide with new menu items be bi weekly. Return throughout the event to, re to enjoy and discover festive cuisines in different feature locations, included. Trinidad and Tobago, Brazil and Germany. And select um, times they have like um, designated things. So that's pretty interesting. Will I try one of these stuff? Honestly don't know, but maybe when I do the marshmallow show, I might like slip in, grab something, try it out. But we'll see. So where the Howling Horn Nice Tribute Store normally is, they have a Mardi Gras tribute. Honestly, I'm giving, getting Halloween Horror Night vibes from this, but let's check it out and see what's inside of this tribute store for Mardi Gras. Whoa. Yeah, I'm definitely getting Halloween Horror Night vibes from this place. 
So there's like a lot of different locations. Apparently I am currently right here. We'll walk around through the gates. Rounder, there's a tribute cemetery. A the Baron, the Bayou, check out, and then exit. So there's a lot of things to see. So let's see what's in here. If you guys are looking for a new Insta wall with like Mardi Gras theme, <clears throat> this right here definitely is an option. Last year for Howling Horror Nights, I know they had like a big orange background, so that was a Howling Horror Night quote unquote Instagram wall. But this is the Mardi Gras, so that is pretty intriguing. I like the theme of it. For $22, you get a purple Universal Florida graphic tee, which honestly, the globe itself is different. They're probably going with a new <coughs> physique slash design of the globe, which is pretty nice. I actually like how it looks. I originally saw some people wearing it in Disney Springs, so I was like debating, like, is that an original or was it made somewhere else? But it's a legit Universal t-shirt, and I really do like it. Of course, you gotta have a king slash queens of Mardi Gras. There's also a Mardi Gras, um, I don't know, is this a, um, quote unquote fortune teller slash a person who reads the cards? Um, let me know in the comment section though, because for some reason I'm blanking right here. I think this guy kind of like reads the cards and tells your fate. You also have a Jester's rainbow hat. Man, that thing is huge. Jesus Christ, how much is it going for? $31.95. Wow. And you got some car cargo shorts? Yeah, these are cargo shorts. For 40 bucks. Just kind of pretty much simple cargo shorts. Nothing physique or special about it, but if you're looking for some shorts because it's Florida, it does get hot, you can get them here. For $18, you get like a tumbler right here with Mardi Gras theme. These are pretty much representing of each a float in the Mardi Gras Parade, which hopefully I do participate in this year's. I always wanted to, but I never had a chance to. So hopefully this year I could get on the Mardi Gras and do a little POV from the Mardi Gras um, float. But for a tumbler, $18. When there's Mardi Gras, there's always beads coming right behind it. And there's a special going on. Buy two, get one free. But typically for these, type of beats, you'll always get them free in the parade because people on the front will always just toss them to you. If you get lucky, you catch them. So you can either buy them now during the celebration or wait during the parade and grab one. I don't know if they're still doing it because they're selling it here. They might stop throwing the beats, but we just gotta wait and see when time comes. And also there's like a lot of different masks, which is kind of, Interesting. I know Universal has a rule that you cannot wear masks inside the park, but I wonder if these are an exception that you could wear them in the park during the celebration of Mardi Gras at night. Hmm. Let me double check on that. Because of these masks, because they are covering at least a portion of your eyes, you can and you are allowed to wear them during the Mardi Gras at night. So, if you want to get a little festivities for Mardi Gras, come over here and buy a mask. I wonder how much are they going for? So they kind of range. This one is $14.95. I'm pretty sure like the jumbo one right here is kind of like a little more pricier, which is going for what? $30. Um, so I'm pretty much, that's a range. Like you have $15 once and then you got jumping over to maybe like a $30. So it kind of ranges. So you have variety to pick. It's very nice. Black and subtle. That's the one I always go to. So we're done with this room. Now we're gonna go to the bayou and see how this looks. Wow. Definitely feels I'm like in New Orleans. Man, if this only was a scare actor, you just come up me and just scare me right now while you guys are recording. Man. We're not Halloween Horn Nights, but Again, I'm definitely getting vibes of Halloween Horror Nights here. It's kind of crazy. Overall, it's really nice trivia store. Again, I did get the feel of I'm in 
a Halloween Horror Night store for some reason, but overall, Jerby store is nice. Pretty much everything else was a repetitive of same graphic tees, different color cargo shorts, masks and everything, which overall, which a pretty good store. But now, let's just see what else we could do here in Universal and just have fun. Let's go. Unfortunately, because I cannot ride on the film on the ride, I gotta put you guys in my pocket. So I'll catch you guys when I'm not done. As usual, Mummy was amazing, fantastic, fast, overall a great ride. I can't not say nothing much about this one because it's just an amazing ride. Um, but as right now we're gonna continue walk around. I'm gonna continue walk around, see what else there's new, and maybe go on another ride. Maybe Man in Black, because I haven't done Man in Black for a while, so I wanna see how my high score is. So let's go. So I'm just stopping by real quick for Fast and Furious Supercharge to talk about one important thing. Holy smokes. Fast Furious 9 is coming out later this year, plus there, the plot twist at the end of the trailer threw us all off, especially me because I'm a big Fast and Furious man. But now, there's nothing much I can say because that I cannot wait to go on the movie, watch the movie, going on it. I think it's like a 10 minute wait, so might as well just go on and get my Fast family on. Let's go. One of the main reasons I always love to come over here Dom's charger. It's gorgeous. Truly love it. It actually said 20 minute wait, but no one's a single rider, so I'm honestly not complaining right now. I'm just wondering. These pictures are pretty much one of each of the movie franchise, so will there be a new picture on the wall when the Fast 9 comes out? But you gotta wait and see when the time comes. Well, something just happened. They just roped off the line here. To go on, so there might probably something happen inside the ride, or they're probably adding a card. Who knows? But right now, they're not boarding anyone. Here we go. Still overall a good ride just to get away from the sun, from the crowd, and just get some good AC. Um, if it's less than a short wait time, then definitely take advantage of it. And if you're coming alone, single wires, that's another beneficial. Uh, but now, it's been a while since I've been on Men in Black, and I think it's time to upgrade and see how am I doing with Men in Black right now. So, let's go and have some fun, and see hopefully what kind of high score will I get. Single Rise is open. No more wine, 15 minute wait. So this is pretty much a welcome. But before that, I gotta put my stuff in the locker. Uh, sweet, sweet AC. And there's no one here. Easy walk on. Not complaining. So hopefully I do get a good score. It's been a while since I've done it. So I might be a little rusty. So I might need to do it twice to get my good score. So let's go and see how we do. Level where? Over 400, baby. I like that. And we get a Galactic Defender. It's some sweetness. It's been a while since I've been on it. But it's been good. So a little bit over 400. Honestly, not that bad. For a guy who hasn't done this for what? Three months, four months on this ride? I'll take it. I'll gladly take that score. I'm still a bit rusty. I probably could get up to 500 if I could, if I remember the spots, but maybe the next time I do it, my second round, I might grab that 500, but bit by bit, I'll get that max out score like I did uh, Disney's. So with that being said, I pretty much covered everything I wanted to talk about here in Universal. So let's hop on a train, jump over time to the adventure to talk about the brand new construction update for Jurassic World Plus Maybe go out and have good magical culture. So it's never impossible. It was over 200 over two hours 120 minutes But it's not impossible. So let's go on and see what's happening on the other part 
and just like that we are here in Isles of Adventure so let's check out the newest things happening in the park so this is the point of view of Jurassic World roller coaster that we are all speculating and it's coming on very well there's also some markers throughout the whole water right here so those could be extensions that the roller coaster might extend out to the water kind of like how the Hulk is with the pills right here but it's coming along very well they're going on vertical there's a lot of things happening in that in this area right here we can take a closer look a lot of scaffolding but honestly I just want this roller coaster to open up most likely it could be opening up sometime next year or the year after that because Disney World's 50th anniversary is coming next year so probably Universal wants to counteract against it and make sure that they are competing against it but we'll see what's happening but in the background in the background Hogwarts let's go to Richard World Harry Potter to see how long the new track is I'm on my way over in Continental Drift Puss and Boots is out here mean green with people so that is something brand new I haven't seen Puss and Boots here at all so that's something new and integrate with but without further ado onward to Hogwarts Magical Coaster it's currently 120 minute wait so I might just like go on check out how long the line is for single rider so finger cross not that bad and with that I'm going to conclude today's video Hogwarts Magical Coaster as usual a fantastic ride super long wait kind of dirt because there was no single rider so that was a bummer but nevertheless, it's worth the wait. I personally like it. Hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to be notified when brand new videos are up. And please consider subscribing to the channel for more vlogs, for more theme parks, and everything. Thanks so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video.